recently, we've seen a bunch of trailers and teasers and announcements coming out, and I've fallen a little bit behind on all that. And so now I'm trying to catch up. And so on today's agenda, we have the Dragon Prince Season 6 official teaser. And yeah, this video, it's not going to be long. Let's be real, the teaser is super short. But regardless, let's get into it. We start off the trailer with a voiceover of Erevos, talking about how everybody's just stardust bonded together by love, as various different relationships, whether they be romantic ones, siblings, parental, friends, they're all flashing across the screen. And so, there went maybe a third of the trailer, all used on old clips. Okay, not really much to gleam from all that, other than, well, I would suspect that this season's going to heavily lean into the love angle. Stuff like Terry and Claudia, Callum and Rayla. I'll expect that to take a front seat to flesh out the season, especially Callum and Rayla. I mean, that relationship needs a whole lot of rehabilitation for the fan base at large to take it seriously again. Like, remember how hype it was back in the day? Yeah, they need to get back to that. Because the current state of Raylam is total cringe. So hopefully we see some improvements on that going forward. Also, I'm expecting that in keeping with that love theme, we're surely going to be touching on Rayla's family situation at some point soon, right? I mean, we're running out of seasons at this rate, so hopefully they're going to let that storyline breathe instead of referencing it every so often and then rushing it to the finish at the very end. But yeah, like I said, we'll have to wait and see. But of course, the largest portion of the teaser involved a little scene between Claudia and Terry. Claudia, who at this point is missing a leg, I think. I mean, that's what happened to her at the end of last season, right? She's covered in blood, and she's looking like a little bit of a crackhead, or a dark magic head, I guess you'd say. She's not looking good. She's got the crazy eyes, and she tells Terry that he's not going to abandon her like everybody else has. And then she seemingly attacks him as we cut away, although from the spoilers from that Comic-Con panel, we know that she doesn't actually attack him, and instead she leaves him behind before he can do the same to her. But of course, what she doesn't understand is that Terry is still very ride or die for her. So this seems like it's building to a Zuko alone, rock bottom type of storyline. But instead of just being depressed and lonely, we're going to intermingle it with a dash of Azula's mental health issues. Which in turn, I think is going to combine to lead to a bit of a, well, I guess it would be a bit of a villain arc this season. The reality is, so much has gone down between Claudia and the heroes at this point, that reconciliation seems a little bit far-fetched without a true final climax to their story. And so hopefully we're going to get that this season. Because, well, yeah, super crazy unhinged Claudia going into full-on magic battle with Callum, that would be mega hype. Honestly, I kind of think that's what the show's missing at large. Avatar-style fights where two awesome characters unleash immense magical powers at one another. Give me what I want. Show me the epic magic jewels, please, I'm begging you. I need this in my life, please and thank you. The action's never been all that great, let's be real, so I do think they need to start incorporating that side of things much more. They did it a little bit in the Sun Elf storyline like two seasons ago, but we need more. And then of course, because of the love theme in the early section of the trailer, and the fact that Terry, from what we know, stays dedicated to Claudia even after she ditches him, I would say that after that villain arc has peaked, we're then going to get the long-awaited Claudia redemption arc. Let's be real, she seems like a character who is prime real estate for the redemption. She's very popular, she's kind of cool, and she's very sympathetic. And so she'll hit that rock bottom, and she's going to come out the other side of things, maybe not as a full hero, because I doubt we're going to get that full reconciliation, but maybe she'll be a bit of an anti-hero type character, and we'll get a mutual respect between Claudia and the heroes, and hopefully with Soren too. But I do think that keeping that as a bit of a bittersweet type of deal, where they never truly reconnect properly, would be much better in terms of wrapping up that part of the story. Not everything can have the pure happy ending, and it shows that Viren's actions do have ultimate consequences. And then the trailer finishes off with a sequence of Callum, looking like he's blindfolded, free-falling through what seems to be outer space. So I don't know if this is actually a scene, or if this is just something to make the trailer look cool, a stylistic choice, hype material. And if it's the latter, well, it looks cool, so good work. But if it's the former, I do wonder what's going on here. Is he looking for Erevos? Is he astral projecting or some shit? Maybe he just needs to be blindfolded so he can, I don't know, enter some star magic dream state? Kind of like Eleven in Stranger Things. Just spitballing here, really. There's not really much to be learned from that sequence, and yeah, that's it, really, besides the announcement of a game, which I would be more excited for if it wasn't a mobile game. I feel like franchises like this 
could actually make games that have way more widespread appeal even more than this show, because let's be real, fantasy games continue to be all the rage. But not in a mobile format, I reckon. Sorry, it just doesn't look that good. And so, yeah, with all that being said, these have been my opinions, and now I'd like to hear yours. What did you think of the teaser? Has it hyped you up for the season? Maybe not. I'm curious for your thoughts, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know.